What up guys, Miguel here of Yugatech, and this is the Huawei P60 Pro. Our unit is featured in this beautiful Rococo Pearl colorway, and trust me, it looks better in person. And of course, its headlight feature is its ultra lighting X-Mage camera system over here. The Huawei P series of smartphones have always been their most photography-centric devices, hence the P in P series. These devices have always aimed to innovate and simplify what it means to take a still image from the camera we always carry in our pockets. From super light modes to periscopic lenses to massive sensors. The question is, does the Huawei P60 Pro have what it takes to be the best still image camera king of 2023? Let's find out. Checking out its rear, the Huawei P60 Pro exudes that premium feel in this Rococo Pearl colorway. Inspired by the 18th century Victorian Baroque movement, Huawei has created an industry first for pearl texture design. Manufacturing this rear panel incorporated natural mineral pearl powder into the cast of the panel. From here, Huawei's designers add a handcrafted touch to each panel, making each Rococo Pearl rear panel one of a kind. Out of the box, it feels very sandblasted matte to the touch, and in person, it does look very elegant. For a more muted look, there's a feather sand black variant which has a slight sand polished texture that does not attract my fingerprints or smudges. In front, the Huawei P60 Pro features a 6.67-inch Quad HD LTPO OLED display that features a refresh rate of 120Hz. This means that the panel can lower its refresh rate down to 1Hz when in idle to save battery life. It's also protected by Kunlun glass, which features a 5-star glass drop resistance from the SGS at Switzerland. Because of this, the P60 Pro's drop resistance has increased tenfold, and it also features an IP68 rating for dust and water resistance, with a maximum depth of 1.5 meters and up to 30 minutes. With Huawei's X-True display in the works, color accuracy looks great. And out of the box, the display color profile is set to its normal mode, for the best accuracy at sRGB or DCI-P3. We can set things to vivid if you want a more vibrant look and even adjust color temperature. Consuming media and playing games on this panel looks stunning. But what really steals the show here is its dual stereo speaker setup. More on this in our full review. Powering the P60 Pro is a 4,815 mAh cell with support for 88 watt Huawei supercharged turbo. It can charge the device from 0 to 50% in about 10 minutes, which is wild. It also features 50 watt wireless supercharge with support for reverse wireless charging at 7.5 watts. On the software side of things, the P60 Pro units in our local shores will be running on EMUI 13.1. The best part is that downloading and installing new apps in the Huawei App Gallery has never been more seamless. Apps like Google Home, YouTube Kids, Google Assistant, even BPI Mobile. It's all there. If you don't know what you need, you can always check out the top apps tab within the app. Or browse through one of the suggested apps folders in the home screen if you haven't hit them away already. Finally, going into the P60 Pro's crown jewels, its camera system. The Huawei P60 Pro features their ultra lighting XMH triple camera setup in the rear that features a 48 megapixel RYYB main sensor with a variable aperture of f1.4 to f4.0 that features phase detection autofocus, laser autofocus, and optical image stabilization, allowing end users to achieve a natural looking shallow depth of field when the aperture is wide open followed by the 48 megapixel RYYB periscopic telephoto sensor with an aperture of f2.1 that also features optical image stabilization and serves as the 3.5x and 10x zoom. This telephoto sensor is very special as it takes in about 178% more light compared to its competitors, allowing us to capture rich detail even in low lighting conditions. And last but not the least is the 13 megapixel RYYB ultra wide sensor with an aperture of f2.2 for Gen Z selfies, landscape shots, and architecture. All in all, I do think that the camera module on this device is actually quite quirky because especially in this white Rococo Pearl colorway, it kind of looks like the face of a koala if you like, if you see it. I think it looks like a koala. I don't know. It's kind of cute. In front, the P60 Pro features a 13 megapixel ultra wide sensor with an aperture of f2.4 as its in-display selfie camera. Taking stills on the main camera system is amazing. 
The power of AI processing just gets better and better, especially Huawei's. Taking photos not even in portrait mode but in 3.5x on the auto photo mode have been my favorite from this device. Because of how the sensor was designed to take in more light, portraits of people, animals, and flowers look very sharp with great detail even in low lighting conditions. I swear, some of our samples from the telephoto sensor make us feel like we took them using a DSLR camera edited through Luminar AI. What's also amazing about this sensor is that it can take macro photos. That's right, utilizing the same periscopic telephoto sensor, we can also capture macro imagery. You can do this by going into 10x zoom or more up to 100x digital. Another way to make the most out of macro is to physically move the phone closer or further from the tiny subject in 10x or higher, enabling you to find the best focusing distance for macro photography. The X-Image AI processing that runs things in the background is very well-tuned. It corrects warped ultra-wide shots right away, which I dig, but this doesn't mean I do not turn it off from time to time for variation. Sometimes, it can tweak my captured image to be a little too contrasty than I'd first like, so I quickly turn it off and take a second shot. Night mode is still here, and years after the P20 Pro, it's still very good. I do only reserve this mode for something that appears to be in complete darkness as the processing of low light photos in the auto mode can still brighten up a dark image by a lot. For low light portrait mode, it doesn't get better than the P60 Pro. Whether it's the main sensor or telephoto, the cutout usually comes out perfect. The main sensor still does better than the telephoto sensor right out of the gate, but the moment you preview the images you just took, its processing steals the show. For selfies, utilizing an ultra-wide sensor is genius, especially when they have the post-processing power to match. Overall, the versatility that this camera system brings really tickles my fancy when it comes to smartphone photography. Whether it's photos of food, cityscapes, landscapes, water sports, plant life, pets, or portraits of people, in the day or night, you can be sure to get a really nice looking still image out of the P60 Pro. The Huawei P60 Pro will be up for pre-order starting May 12 until 25 with a starting price of 58,999 pesos for the 8GB of RAM plus 256 gigs of internal storage variant and 69,999 pesos for the 12GB of RAM plus 512 gigs of internal storage variant. You can avail of up to 24 months installment via credit card and up to 18 months via home credit. When you pre-order the P60 Pro, you will also get a free Huawei Watch GT3 valued at 12,999 pesos. There's also an additional one-year extended warranty for the device and a Huawei Cloud extension worth 447 pesos. Don't forget to check out the link in the description box below to pre-order your very own Huawei P60 Pro. So, what did you guys think of Huawei's 2023 still image king, the P60 Pro? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you found this video enjoyable, informative, or educational, be sure to smack that like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit that bell icon so you get notified of our future uploads. Be sure to visit yukatech.com for today's tech news and reviews. Again, this has been Miguel, and this has been the P60 Pro, and I will see you in the next one.